Today we will tell the story of Cain and Abel, found in the book of Genesis chapter 4. May the word of God reach our hearts as a source of inspiration for our lives. Adam and Eve, after their journey in Eden, became parents to two sons, giving their firstborn the name Cain. Time passed, and new life flourished with the birth of Abel. Abel, from an early age, showed a peculiar affinity with flocks, becoming a shepherd, dedicating himself to the care of animals. On the other hand, Cain chose the life of the field, tilling the land with his industrious hands. The day came when both felt the need to offer sacrifices to the Lord. Kaim, opting for an offering of fruits and vegetables, chose the path of cultivated land. Abel, in his generous gesture, presented to the Lord the best lamb from his flock. The Lord looked favorably upon Abel's offering but found no satisfaction in Cain's. Cain's reaction was instantaneous. Anger clouded his eyes when he realized his offering had been rejected by God. A mantle of resentment enveloped him. In his wisdom, God warned Kaim, Why are you angry, Kaim? If you do what is right, you will be accepted and happy. But if you do not, sin is lurking at your door, ready to pounce and become your master. Instead, you must master it. Days later, the two brothers were talking in the field. In a moment of anger and jealousy, Cain turned against Abel, brutally attacking him to death. The ground witnessed the first act of bloodshed between brothers, and the fate of the sons of Adam and Eve took a tragic turn, marking history with the scars of irreversible choices. In the evening, God sought out Cain. Where is your brother? He questioned. Cain, with a grim expression, replied, I don't know. Am I my brother's keeper all the time? God, sensing the darkness that had settled in Cain's heart, uttered words of sorrow. Oh, Cain, what have you done? Listen, your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. This soil that you loved so much is now cursed, for it holds your brother's blood. You will still cultivate the land, but it will no longer yield its best to you. You will be a wandering nomad. Cain fell to his knees, sobbing. Oh, God, your punishment is too severe. You are taking away my land and your presence. I will be aimless and separated from everyone. Eventually they will hunt me down and kill me. In his mercy, God placed a mark upon Cain and said, Whoever kills Cain will suffer sevenfold for it. With this, Cain departed from the presence of the Lord, carrying the burden of his guilt and the mark that would distinguish him forever. Thus, Cain's tragedy echoed through the ages branding him as a cursed man destined to wander in a world that had turned hostile. Sin, like sinister shadows, loomed over the history of humanity, and Kaim's fate became a warning about the consequences of thoughtless choices. As we delve into the intricacies of the story of Kaim and Abel, we encounter an intriguing question that resonates through the centuries. Who was Kaim's wife? The answer initially seems obvious, pointing to the possibility that he married one of his sisters. However, as we examine previously obscure details, the narrative reveals surprising nuances. Let's consider for a moment the unknown timeline. The Bible, in its richness, provides intriguing clues. We are not certain how old Adam was when Cain committed the horrendous act of killing Abel. However, we catch a glimpse of a new character in the story, Seth, the son Adam and Eve had after the tragedy. Adam was 130 years old when Seth was born, but how much time passed since the tragedy of Cain and Abel? The mind wanders through fascinating possibilities. Eve, the matriarch, may have given birth to a multitude of sons and daughters during this temporal gap, generations succeeding, creating an intricate web of kinship that extended through hundreds or even thousands of descendants. The common assumption that Cain and Abel were the first children of Adam and Eve is challenged making room for a broader genealogical tapestry. Around Kaim, a vast array of relatives may have formed, providing him with a variety of options for a wife. When God warns Cain about the lurking sin, it is not only about murder but the poisonous seed of envy that has taken hold of his heart. Consumed by envy, 
Chaim allowed its consequences to culminate in the brutal act of killing his own brother. However, it's possible that during the height of the dispute, Chaim acted without fully understanding the lethality of his deed. The stone that struck Abel might have been an impulsive gesture, a result of ignorance about the fragility of life. Confronting judgment before God, Cain expresses fear of being hunted and killed, indicating a sudden awareness of human vulnerability. Cain, shrouded in his sin of envy, experienced repercussions far beyond what was expected. On the other hand, Abel, despite his brief presence in the narrative, emerges as the first name associated with faith, a figure that transcends the pages of the past and echoes into eternity. This is the third part of a series of five, where we will narrate the biblical story of the beginning of the world since creation. Stay with us not to miss the next chapters of this story, so important to all of us. And if you missed the previous episodes, we have a complete playlist with all the videos in chronological order. If you're not subscribed to our channel yet, click on the subscribe button and join our community. Also, don't forget to comment, leave a like and click on the notification bell. Your presence and participation here are very important to us. Today I want to share a verse found in the book of Genesis chapter 4 verses 6 and 7. The Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? If you do what is right, will you not be accepted? But if you do not do what is right, sin is crouching at your door. It desires to have you, but you must rule over it. May the presence of God be a constant in your life, bringing blessings, joy, and love. God bless you.